the earth has two motions or movements uh, the first one is actually around the the sun which is called the revolution and the second one is called the rotation which is actually the movement around its own axis the earth rotation actually is the movement when earth is revolving around its own axis these axes are north south poles yani jab earth ye apne mahwar ke gird ghumti hai to usme wo 24 ghante mein apne mahwar ke gird ek chakkar pura karti hai aur wo mahwar uska नॉर्थ और साउथ पोल्स हैं जिसे हम नॉर्थ पोल और साउथ पोल्स कहते हैं दिस इज एक्चुअली एक्सेस ऑफ रोटेशन एंड द सेकेंड मोशन विच इज एक्चुअली द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट विच क्रिएट्स सीजन्स ओवर द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड द द रेवोल्यूशन दिस इज द मोशन अराउंड द सन earth rotation actually is a movement of the solid earth around its own axis at an inclined angle and this inclined angle that we have already discussed ke jo uska axis hai wo tilt hai wo inclined hai this inclined angle is 23 degree and 50 minutes or 23.5 degrees due to this rotation the half of the portion of the planet is in front of the sun which receives rays uh, from the from the star so uska jo aadha hissa hai wo uh, suraj se uh, dusri taraf rahega jahan par hum dekhte hain ki wo raat ka waqt hota hai so there are um, two phases day and night and the line which separates the two phenomena day and night is called the circle of illumination yani ye jo circle hai wo day and night ka circle hai jo usko separate karta hai so it means the half of the portion will be bright and half uh, is under the darkness throughout the year as our small blue planet orbits the sun and experiences changing season the warm spring the hot summer the autumn and fine finally comes cold wet and dry winter the earth revolve around the sun in one year approximately one year in 365.25 days so in 22nd of june it is the northern hemisphere is in front of the sun so this receives highest temperature during the season so we call it the summer season then it moves to the opposite side of the sun after 6 month so the southern half receives the highest temperature in 6 months so that is actually the southern hemisphere so in 22nd of june it receives summer season in the northern hemisphere the sun's vertical rays are over the tropic of cancer whereas the southern hemisphere receives winter season which has the lowest temperature during the year now in 22nd of december when earth southern part is inclined toward the sun it receives highest temperatures so the vertical rays are over tropic of capricorn what causes the changes that we see throughout the season as why are the winter which are cool and summer which are hot this is noticed that the axis of earth is tilted slightly this causes part of the earth to lean toward the sun while part of it is hidden either beneath the earth causing different parts of the earth surface to receive a different amount of sunlight and heat as the earth moves around its orbit the portion leaning toward the sun changes in year around the southern hemisphere leans out toward the sun causing the northern hemisphere to lean away from the sun during this time of the year the southern hemisphere gets more light and heat or become warmer or summer season receives at the same time 
the northern hemisphere receives less light and heat or cooler in other words we enjoy as winter season so the earth revolves around the sun once every 365.24 days or which are called the solar days the earth orbit the sun at a speed of about 1 lakh 8000 kilometers per hour 